Now, in this lecture, we'll see how to create register view. So, we need to just uh, inherit some packages to write the first we see register and then we'll see login. So, for that, Django dot uh, contrib Django dot contrib dot auth import just we need to import some packages just like uh, authenticate authenticate and after that get user model after that login and log out so we need to import some packages to write our views and uh, just like class user register form so we need to register our user and uh, forms dot model form fine great and uh, we need to just uh, define the fields which we want in the view so email is equal to forms dot email email field and fine and uh, confirmation email this is just for confirmation dot uh, email field and uh, if we want to specify the label we can specify it by writing the label itself label is equal to uh, email address and after that uh, just copy and paste it and uh, confirm email okay fine and last but not least password we need to require password forms dot uh, care field care field and uh, after that we need to pass the widget if you don't know about the widget let me just uh, show you some brief about the widget uh, password input okay fine let's just google it what is the django widget there are so many widgets that django is provided by means by default so you can google it out always uh widget is what uh, uh django provide itself just like uh, select widget it is used to widgets inheriting from the select widget deal with choices whenever we want to give the choices options to the users then we can use select widget whenever we want to password just like uh, when we enter the password then uh, we want password in dotted form not in the text form so we use password input so that user cannot see the password so this is the widget where password input is used just like widget forms dot text input after that you can use it uh, means you know all the widgets are available in the Django documentation you can go through this that's fine we'll use password input over here forms dot password input fine so after that uh, we have defined our fields and after that we need to we need to bind in the meta class model is equal to we'll use the default model of the django which is user to use the user model uh, we need to specify what is the user for that we need to use get user model this is just a reminder that get user model will provide us the django's default user model which is used by the django admin and it is provided us by default whenever we use the get user model so by model then fields and we need to specify the fields which we want to display in the in the web browser so first we need to inherit we need to use username after that email after that email to and last but not least password so we need to display this many fields to the user so that we can use it and uh, after that we need to define some clean method that for that uh, we need to specify the clean email i'll tell you what's this uh, self uh, whenever we enter any data in this fields we need to get the data in the forms as well in the forms itself for that we need to specify username not forms but uh, self dot cle cleaned underscore data dot uh, get 
and after that we need to specify the email so by writing this uh, not username but uh, email will be there and email and email confirmation so just specify the field name over here just like email and email too okay so if we want to provide our validation that email and email too must be the same and uh, something like that uh, the email validation will be provided by the Django itself because we have written email field over here so this is a common practice to write the field which is required uh, so that we uh, means we can save our time to provide the email validation means email context validation and uh, fine and if provide the password it's as well so that uh, we can check the password as well recommended because uh, password will be got in the password field but uh, this is not a standard practice so this is just for your confirmation and this is just to show you about this and uh, if email not equal to email to then we need to raise a validation error validation error just like uh, the user not the user but uh, emails must match must match so if email and email to is different then this validation error will be performed this is enough for now uh, we'll use this validations for the email match and uh, after the user registration form we need to specify the views over here just uh, to perform the backend views so first we need to inherit it from the book form that is user register form and uh, check the name okay user register form okay fine so we need to just check it and uh, you can give the name whatever you want and uh, register view so request and uh, fine so we need to specify the next keyword what is the next keyword whenever we input the wrong or uh, whenever we input uh, the by mistaken text or anything that is uh, not acceptable so again to perform this uh, page we need to specify next the next will be used to just specify what will be the next input so next is the but uh, this is not necessary but you need to specify the next keyword so that you can say that uh, you can uh, change the words like that so we need to specify form that what form we need to use which is user register form and uh, request dot post or none fine so after that if form is valid then uh, perform we need to take username username is equal to uh, you can say that form not forms but uh, just like that fine when form dot save and uh, commit is equal to false fine so after save that we need to get the not uh, wait a minute just name is equal to username is equal to just like uh, username not username but user dot username and uh, for the password we need to specify the password so fine after that user name is equal to user dot username fine so go with the flow you'll understand the hold context just like okay fine so we save the form uh, form dot save after we need to specify the forms dot py we need to store forms dot save in a particular field 
and after that uh, no need to this but we need to get the password to store it in the view but uh, form dot uh, cleaned underscore data dot get what we want to get is password we want to get the password and after that password so we need to use a dot set we need to set password in the django default user structure so password set password what we want to set is password so we need to specify the set password function over here and make sure you inherit some packages django dot contrib dot auth and import just uh, some functionalities like uh, authentication after that login log out and so on and one more get underscore user model get user model so these are the packages we need to import over here as well so after that set password and uh, password is set and uh, okay fair enough after password is set to the user then we need to enter in the enter the data into the database uh, we can save the data in the database by user dot save fine so data is saved and after that we don't need this and uh, fine so user is already defined in uh, in the forms dot save so we can't define the same variable so new user this can be used by inherit the package uh, sorry import the package so we have imported and after that we need to log in that user so request dot uh, new user so by this login function we can log in the user in the django default users so by this user can log in into the specific user and uh, if we specified some next functionality over here just uh, if next then uh, make sure uh, when we change in the data and uh, it provides a validation just like uh, when we just like when we change in the data of the users we haven't complete our code yet okay fine so first just complete return redirect return redirect uh, next okay fine let me just show you something and uh, after if next is none what does this mean that uh, if next is exist then it will go into the if condition and if next is none then it will go to the inside if it will go outside the if so return redirect and we need to redirect redirect it to the home page just like book so it will go to the this page book slash list so whenever we save this form register form then it will redirect us to the book list view fine you can redirect it to the home view as well just by specifying the slash it will redirect to the home view directly we have seen how to create register view